Welcome into this week's Tout Net Report. I'm here with Coach Liam Williamson. Coach, it's been a while since we have chatted. A stretch of 10 days that has seen the Cows register three wins, uh, starting with that tough five-set road win over North Dakota State, a home win over Western Illinois, and obviously last night, Sunday's night, Sunday's afternoon's match a win over Port Purdue Fort Wayne at the Panford Pentagon. Just briefly on North Dakota State, getting out of Fargo with a win is not always easy. Um, Ann Rasmussen stepped back to the service line in the fifth set and served out the match, the final 10 points, which included three service aces. How big was that? I mean, that match was a, a really back and forth match as it was. Um, you know, I think the, the couple sets that we won, we felt like we were pretty much in control. And I think that was kind of the same way when NDSU won. So um, to go into that fifth set, anything can happen in those in, in those situations. Um, and I think we were down 5-4 at the time. So then we did side out, um, put Annie back there. I mean, I think Annie's been a very good server for us anyway. So we felt really confident that we could go on a run there. But it just doesn't happen very often that they end up serving that many points. Um, but she's she served extremely well. I mean, she she hit her zones. Um, they had to make some changes with the with their serve receive lineup. They had three back there. Then they went to two. Um, they stayed in two for two rotations. Um, Annie got aces, I believe, on both of them, or at least um, got them majorly out of system on one, then an ace on the second. Then they had to go back to a three person serve receive. So I think that just goes to show how efficient she can be. Um, but obviously, I think once you go on the little bit of a run, I think we felt very confident, and then. Um, we just really ran with it as a team. Obviously, a few days off uh, after the North Dakota State match. Uh, how crucial was that practice time? I mean, I think for individuals, it was extremely important. Um, when you play four matches in eight days, you tend to focus a little bit more on your opponent and getting the team prepared for um, the defensive matchups that we want to take advantage of, um, you know, offensively what we can do. So it's a lot more about the team as a whole rather than individual breakdown. So going into um, last week, we were very focused on, on getting some of that skill breakdown again, um, on focusing on us as individuals so that the team could continue to get back. Um, I think you saw it uh, pay off really this weekend. I think we were a little bit cleaner in some of the situations that we had struggled with um, in some of the past matches. And, I, you know, even though we came away with those wins in those four matches, um, we felt like we could have played better. We felt like we could have been cleaner. So I think that was um, very big for us. I think it got our confidence back as attackers again. I think defensively we were able to get a little bit more detailed with how our body should look in certain situations. And um, in my opinion, I mean, watching back, watching film back now, we definitely played a cleaner game, um, I think, partly because of that training. And uh, the Cows were able to push their home mark this season inside the Sanford Cows Sports Center to 7-0 with a sweep over Western Illinois, 25-17, uh, 25-17, 25-18. Uh, led by it led basically a 378 team hitting percentage, which was the second highest this season. How was the offense able to be so efficient in that match? Uh, I mean, I, I think as a whole we passed fairly well. Um, we dug the ball in system, so even in transition we were able to be a little bit more um, unpredictable, uh, which didn't allow their block to set up as efficiently. And then obviously we were able to take advantage of some of their defensive um, weaknesses. So uh, I, you know, I think that has a big part of it. But it too, again, I think it goes back to the training. I mean, we were just much more confident in our um, in our skill. Uh, I thought we were doing a better job of doing the process correctly, which really allows us to have more success with the result. And um, I was really happy overall with how um, Madison Jurgen set the ball, how she got people involved. Um, and that was, I mean, it was definitely good to see and something that we can continue to build off of. And then uh, look to last night's Sunday afternoon's match with Fort Wayne, uh, 25-22, 25-11, and 26-24. Uh, kind of that big rally there in that third set to uh, to get the sweep. Uh, uh, how much did the crowd uh, influence that, uh, especially in the third set, to, to aid in that? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, how, how awesome. I mean, that that atmosphere was great. The amount of people that were there to watch our, our players compete, um, you know, with that one versus two matchup was was really cool to be a part of. Um, I know our players really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, walking out and uh, right before the game and, and seeing that crowd, it, it was very, very cool to be um, a part of that match. Now, um, going to that third set, you know, we knew that they were going to push us. I think they, they found a way to take advantage of us early on in the third set. Um, they played a little bit more of a smart game rather than a physical game um, and it took us a little bit of time to kind of back up and refocus a little bit um, but with that I, I definitely think that the crowd influenced us you know at one point in time too I think it was in the third set Fort Wayne went on 
a little bit of a run and then all of a sudden you could hear our crowd kind of starting to to you know cheer us on give us that little bit of energy i'm um, going into that next point and um that was when i really stepped back i was like okay this is awesome like the crowd gets it you know they are a part of this match they're not just here to watch they're here to be engaged and um i definitely think you know i said it before the match to our um to our fans at the chalk talk, talk i mean our, our the energy that our fans create um absolutely aids in our um in our ability to play at a high level and to create our own energy and um you know i i think i would be naive to say that it didn't affect us in, in a positive way and uh, the cows are now 19 and 1 overall and 8 and 0 uh, uh through the summit league's first time through the rotation uh Tough road trip ahead this week uh, as we start the second half of the rotation. Uh, Friday's match in Tulsa against Oral Roberts, and then a, and a long and then a quick flight to Grand Forks to play uh, North Dakota on Sunday. Yeah, I, I mean these these trips are never easy. Um, one of the things that I've been really happy with this year with this team is they just have n they have found ways to not make excuses. I mean, there's we don't talk about the travel, we don't talk about you know the um, you know the difficulties of it, and. Um, with that, I think they're not internally giving themselves any excuses either. So um, everybody makes that trip at some point in time. Um, and, you know, I think we do a pretty good job of traveling and allowing our players the most amount of rest that we can on the road. Um, but I think the bigger challenge is just the fact that, you know, we do play people again and we have um, been able to have success against everybody at this point. So now, you know, both teams are going to be able to go back and watch film from the first time and figure out, okay, what did we miss? What, what strengths do we need to avoid um, of our opponents? You know, how do we stop? that? How do we slow certain people down? Um, defensively, what can we take advantage of? So I think a lot of times that second time through, both teams feel more prepared. Both teams feel more um, aware of what the other opponent is going to do against you individually instead of watching film just against how they defend different people from different teams. So I think that's one of the bigger challenges. But, you know, for us, we're going to continue to take it one day at a time. We're going to continue to focus on going 1-0. and um, And that's our focus, really. You know, today's our day off. But going into tomorrow is to win that day, you know, to, to have a lot of success at practice. Um, we have to continue to get better. We cannot get complacent. And um, knowing this team, I don't think that's going to happen, but um, definitely that second time through presents some different challenges, but I think our team is definitely up for it. And once again, the Coyotes play on Friday night uh, in Tulsa against Oral Roberts and then uh, Sunday afternoon's match against North Dakota. You've been listening to this week's Coyote Net Report with Coach Leanne Williamson.